How do we get these people to care? On both sides of the aisle, how do we get them to step out of their bubble and just listen? I'm not talking about love. I'm talking about listening. That's all I want. A lot of people look at me and they go, Chris, that is a fruitless endeavor. You're going to bang your head against the wall. Nobody is going to cross-contaminate their bubbles. It's never going to happen. And I disagree with that. I think we've already cross-contaminated our bubbles. Music is a great example of how we've cross-contaminated bubbles. I'm a, a big fan of rock and roll. You guys like rock and roll? Woo! Four of you guys in here, great. Right? <laughs> And everybody else is like, we don't like music down here. <laughs> the band that put that Kevin Bacon boy that we're to bring dancing down here. Too. <laughs> <laughs> My sin it comes with that music, boy. You like it? about immigration and agnosticism, but you start talking about music, you're going to get your ass shot in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is why I like comebackers. <laughs> I do, I love rock music, man. I'm a big fan of rock music. But rock music doesn't exist without influences from blues, jazz, R&B, and gospel. Ooh, yeah, is that interesting? Gospel of all things. Rock and roll is called the music of the devil, yet it's been inspired by the sound of the Lord. <laughs> Every church should be playing Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Every sermon should end with a stairway to heaven. Right? Right? We imagine him to have slick back hair, big bushy beard. He's probably got a man bun at this point. 